I'm about to make myself the most unpopular person in this room. <laughs> My advice if you're thinking of self-publishing, don't, do don't do it. Unless, my one saving grace, unless you have to be really in love with what you're producing. I mean, if you're doing this because you want to have tea with Nora Roberts, or you're dreaming of fame and fortune, buy a lottery ticket. You know, I mean, your odds are better. Uh, I mean, as Liz pointed out, you're not going to sell a lot of books. There's going to be tons and tons of work. The only reason to put yourself through the amount of work and frustration is because you really love what you have in your hands. To build a platform, it involves being social. And there isn't any way to be social. Do you know your neighbors? Do you speak to your neighbor? You're a parent. Do you talk to the other parents at school? Do you go to meetings, local meetings, where there are you know, local issues being discussed? Interacting with people, whatever form, is bringing people into your network. You start building relationships with people, and they start taking an interest in you as you take an interest in them. And I think that's true no matter what means, whether it's Facebook, blogging, or anything else. The surprising thing for me was the tremendous amount of non writing as a writer, non-writing related work involved in trying to produce a book. And how many of you I think you're doing this part time. Okay, I've got to tell you the amount of time it takes to do a lot of the jobs involved in producing a, a book is going to be staggering. There's a reason why publishing companies have a marketing department, have a department for book production, construction, layout. All those jobs are going to be your job. And so the amount of totally unrelated to what you want to be doing, the amount of jobs that, that are involved, is really uh, very, very overwhelming. One of the biggest pitfalls you're going to face is, as someone who's starting, not having done this before, you're going to be looking for help. You're here, you're going to be looking for people to help, and there are loads of people out there who are going to offer to help for a peep. And there are a lot of peeps. And a lot of work. And there's always someone who's going to look to make money off of you. You are not going to make money. But there's always someone looking to make money off of all of you. There's always someone out there looking to do it. And they're in marketing. Editors, publicists. There are a gazillion of them in every direction. They're like ambulance chasers. If you think of them as people. And we are the sick people who just you know came out came out of the car. Um, so the biggest pitfall is if you're thinking of this as a business, when it comes to the bottom line, a lot of these things are you're going to have to, without any knowledge or experience, judge whether this is the amount of money I'm going to invest in a publicist or in a marketer or in any or in a cover artist. Am I going to make that back? If this is this publicity going to actually sell enough books to pay for the publicity.